Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your person's current feelings for you, collective. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the collective, whoever it is that the collective is currently connected to and dealing with in love. Let's see. This is for the collective. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? All right, first card we have here is the Hermit card. We also have the Six of Wands. Tell me more spirit. We also have here the King of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune to the Nine of Swords. Interesting. To the Temperance and the High Priestess. All right, let's see what's going on here. High Priestess to the Five of Wands to the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is definitely very interested in having a new beginning with you with the Ace of Wands. Um, I'm getting a lot of like desire, physical desire, sexual desire. I feel like this person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. Definitely, I'm definitely getting that they're watching you, spying on you some way, somehow. Hmm. Your intuition is ringing some sort of alarm with the High Priestess and the Five of Wands. There's some sort of alarm here. Your intuition is ringing the bell, warning you warning you of someone who might be deceiving you or lying to you with the seven of swords. I do feel like you are keeping your distance from this person with the two of swords and two of pentacles. You are showing up um, as the hermit, so you're in hermit mode, avoiding them. And this person is definitely thinking about having a new beginning with you. We have the temperance card, so they're also thinking about uh, reconciling with you or making amends with you, um, healing something with you, healing their relationship with you. This is someone who has a lot of options, but they're not interested in those other options. They're only interested in you right now, at least right now. Uh, the Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune is here. So you're very um, worried about, I don't know if you're worried about repeating a cycle for some of you with this person. Yeah, it's like you're worried, uh, you're worried about repeating a cycle. All right, let's clarify. Spirit, what can you tell me about the... Um, <sighs> I think I want to look at the Hermit. I'm getting your energy strongly from the Hermit card, and I think I want to use this deck. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Hermit, please. Yeah, it's like Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords. What can you tell me, Miss uh, Spirit? Eight of, sword, uh, Eight of Pentacles to the King of Cups. To the Two of Cups. What do you mean, King of Cups? Queen of Swords at the bottom with the Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords. Hmm.
Okay. Hmm. So I don't know if this person has like been very expressive with you in regards to how they feel about you or if they've love bombed you or sweet talked you before. Um, or if they've presented themselves in a very loving or sweet way, affectionate way, or um, if they've tried to like seduce you or make you fall, make you like fall in love with them. There's an energy of them trying to build with you, trying to like create a stable relationship with you. Who's this uh, King of Wands then, Spirit? Let me figure out if this is the same person. Because I don't know. For some of you, there's two people in your energy. I'm definitely getting for some of you, there's two people. Because, But this might be the same person. Let me just verify. Tell me about the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Queen of Swords. Okay. Three of Pentacles. To the Six of Wands. Page of Pentacles to the Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands. What in the world? What is this mess? This is a lot of messy energy here. Okay, so... You know, you do have the Wheel of Fortune with you. I, I feel like there's someone who you're supposed to be with and someone who you're not supposed to be with. Is definitely what I'm getting. For some of you. For others of you, this is the same person. Because I have two people here, but I'm just not understand. I mean, like I said, for some of you, I do feel like there's two people. I mean, I have thousands of viewers, so... Not everyone's going to be the same. For some of you, there's two people in your life. One of them you're supposed to be with and the other one you're not supposed to be with. The other one's not... Um, they're not... It's not in your best interest to be with them. They're not at your level. Uh, they don't want the things that you want. You want a commitment. You want a serious relationship and they don't. The other person that's in your energy, they want a serious relationship. So that's the one you should be focusing on. What is your intuition telling you here? Tell me about this High Priestess to the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Spirit. Eight of Wands to the Four of Swords. To the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh, three of Swords, Temperance, and the Four of Wands. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like there is someone who you're not supposed to engage with. And I feel like your intuition is telling you, um, don't engage with this person. So you would know who this is. If this is your reading, um, then you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, whoever this is, that whoever this person is, they're definitely going to try to like apologize, make things right with you make amends with you, um, heal their relationship with you. They're going to tell you a lot of sweet things. Um, but I do feel like spirit is advising you or your intuition is advising you to not engage and not trust um, the, way they're be the way they're presenting themselves because it's just an illusion. Okay. Okay. Uh, Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Cups person? Clarify the King of Cups, please. So we have the Judgment card. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, so some of you haven't met the person that you're meant to be with yet. Um, some of you are still kind of um, waiting for that person.
yeah for some of you i'm getting that this person here that um is trying to reconcile with you you might have thought that they were the one at some point i feel like at some point you thought that they were the one for you you thought this was going to be the person that you would build um, a life with and have a stable relationship with they seem perfect yeah at some point you thought this person was perfect the way they presented themselves it seemed perfect to you but i do feel like the truth is unraveling and um, i do feel like you're now understanding that the way they were presenting themselves it was it was just them putting their best foot forward to impress you you know to get you to like them to get you to like be attracted to them but now that has that now that some time has passed i do feel like you are seeing this person a little bit more clearly and you're understanding now their um, their limitations or their faults or just the things that are not as you thought they would be or um, yeah because i feel like there's some sort of revelation here what is this revelation about let's take a look at that spirit tell me about the queen of swords Clarify the Queen of Swords. So we have the Star. Oh, Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Hangman to the Seven of Wands to the Five of Swords. Like you, like I said, you're seeing things from a different perspective now. With the Five of Swords, you're realizing that this person plays a lot of head games and mind games. Um, they're very deceptive and manipulative, and I just feel like you weren't aware of that in the beginning of your relationship with them with the Star card. Like I said, in the beginning, this person was wearing their best outfit, you know? This person was wearing their best outfit to impress you. So you definitely thought they were perfect. Um, they seemed very mature uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. They seemed very uh, responsible, mature, um, someone very stable, someone who is reliable, truthful. Um, but again, your perspective has changed now. Tell me about that change in, per in perspective with the hangman spirit. Hmm. Empress. Oh, okay. Well, it kind of looks like the change in perspective is that you're too good for them. You're too good for them. I feel like that's that's what that's what's being revealed to you now that wasn't revealed to you before you're too good for them you're too much for them you're too valuable for them they can't they can't match you they can't compare to you they don't they don't um they don't bring to the table as much as you bring to the table and the relationship is just not balanced. Yeah, it's not balanced and that's not going to change. Because this, this person needs to do a lot of work in order for them to reach your, uh, reach your level of value and of maturity. So that's, that's the big reveal here. The big reveal is that you're too good for them. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen here, Spirit, moving forward? 
between the collective and this person, please. What's going to happen moving forward between the collective and this person? All right, so we do have the Three of Pentacles. Tell me more. We also have the Death card. We also have the Moon. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. We also have the Ten of Wands. Who's crying here? Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups. Okay. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom as well. Hmm. This person's sad. I don't feel like you're the one who's crying. I don't get that at all from you. Okay, so there's a little bit of a struggle going on here. I'm not sure why, so let's figure it out. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about the death card to the moon card, spirit. What's going on with that? Death card to the moon card. So we do have the emperor here. We have the five of pentacles. Okay, and we have the king of wands. So in the outcome, this person is going to be feeling very upset, very upset, very sad, very, um, very much left out in the cold by you. Okay, but okay. All right, but I just feel like this person has this pattern, though, of, of feeling bad for themselves. And that's the problem. They, they spend too much time feeling bad for themselves and they don't invest time into bettering themselves, you know. So I feel like this person has a little bit of poor me, you know, woe is me type of um, mentality. Yeah, you're not crying. That's what I was saying. I feel like you're showing up as an emperor here, so... I don't feel like you are emotional here. How does uh, the collective feel about this outcome? Let me just make sure. How does the collective feel about this outcome? Between them and this person. We have the Four of Swords. Why the Four of Swords? With the Six of Pentacles. With the Justice card. Okay, well, that's, that's what I was saying. Yeah, Page of Cups, Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, disappointed, I would say. Four of Cups, King of Pentacles. Definitely disappointed, but um, not necessarily emotional because I don't feel like you... Um, I feel like you're looking at things objectively, you know? I feel like you're looking at this situation objectively. At least moving forward, you are. You're looking at everything objectively. I don't. I don't feel like you are um, taking anything personal here, or letting yourself be emotionally um, affected by anything. It's kind of like an energy of you win some, you lose some. You did your best with the Queen of Pentacles, so, you know, that's what matters here. Yeah, you did your best. You know, some of you might be in this energy of, oh, geez, when am I going to find the one? How many, how many frogs do I have to kiss before I find the one? You know, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take for me to find the one? 
I feel like some of you are going to be in that energy. Yeah, the, that energy, but not, not in this crying energy. This person in the outcome is going to be in this kind of, like I said, um, poor me, what was me, just feeling bad for themselves, feeling, feeling sad. I mean, it, 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 I feel bad. I don't, uh, they're showing up as a queen of cups. So, you know, I do feel bad, but I just feel like this person has this repetitive pattern, you know, with the 10 of wands of, I don't know, like, um, expecting people to do things for them instead of them doing it for themselves. If that makes sense, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from them. I feel like this person just expects other people to do things for them. It's like they don't really take charge of their own destiny. You know, they don't take control of their own destiny. They just kind of wait for somebody to have to, to feel sympathy for them. If that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I have here, Collective. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.